Greetings fellow Whovians and welcome to Timey Wimey Review where today I want to talk about a rumour or at the very least a very early stage news about Doctor Who coming to Disney Plus. Already there's been a bit of a media frenzy surrounding this rumour which started at the time of recording 24 hours ago and it was something that I wanted to uh, talk about in a future video but it's already come out now so never mind. So please hit the subscribe button as I ask the question should Doctor Who go to Disney Plus? A little bit of housekeeping first surrounding this rumour or news article. I first stumbled across this yesterday morning on the Doctor Who page on Facebook, which I shared on my Twitter page at Review Timey. The statement followed, talks are in early stages and there are no guaranteed deals will be reached, according to people with knowledge of the matter who asked not to be identified because the discussions are private. The show would potentially air globally on Disney Plus streaming service, the BBC will also air the programme. Let's just unpack that statement, but I did forget to mention that this uh, news article uh, rumour is surrounding just the modern era of Doctor Who. So this is just the shows that are from the revival series from 2005 onwards. This has nothing to do with the classic series of Doctor Who, which is on uh, the streaming service BritBox, if you wanted to go find that out. Uh, so... From this uh, statement, at the very beginning, talks are in early stages. There are no guaranteed deals. So for me, that means that this deal could easily collapse as soon as this, you know, as soon or as fast as this rumour already started. Second of all, I don't know from the comments, I don't know if there's just been some misinformation from this rumour that's going about. If Doctor Who were to go on Disney+, Plus. That doesn't mean Disney owns Doctor Who. That's not going to be the case. I'm sure the BBC will not, in no way, shape or form, give up the rights to Doctor Who that easily for Disney Plus to take over. Uh, at the moment, uh, Doctor Who is in its sort of uh, transitional stage. Obviously, we know that Russell T Davies is coming back and Doctor Who is being jointly uh, produced by the BBC and Bad Wolf Studios, uh, which has little bits of time with Sony. Um, but that's more on a production sort of, you know, the special effects side of things. That's nothing to do with the writing at all. So, you know, again, if Disney Plus were to show Doctor Who, that doesn't mean the House of Mouse owns Doctor Who and will be thrown in and saying, I want an adventure with the Doctor and Goofy and Mickey Mouse. That's not going to happen. Again, we're at the very early stages. This could all not happen that doesn't mean that it's only going to be on Disney Plus only. That's not the case. At the final sentence on that, the important uh, part of that is it will still be aired on the BBC. So again, theorising, you would say, you know, as part of like uh, some kind of eyeing out the agreement deals with Disney and the BBC, I would imagine the BBC would have, you know, the first rights to show Doctor Who then followed by Disney Plus. This isn't the first time that Doctor Who and Disney have come together because Doctor Who was shown on Disney XD back from, I think, from season uh, series two onwards. So from the 10th Doctor era of Doctor Who, at the very least, was on Disney XD. And let's not forget the modern era of Doctor Who is on other streaming services outside the UK. So the modern era of Doctor Who as it stands is still on HBO Max. And let's not forget that uh, Doctor Who from series one to 10 was also on Netflix until the end of last year, 2021, where it went back to the BBC and is just now on BBC iPlayer. For me, and this is what I wanted to talk about in a future video, I felt was a bit of a misstep really by the BBC uh, I think it was a wrong idea for Netflix to I, I don't know whether this was a, an expi end of the deal between the BBC and Netflix I, I'm not quite sure of all the ins and outs of that but I think Doctor Who or modern, at least modern era of Doctor Who not being on Netflix anymore was a bit of a misstep for the BBC I imagine the BBC obviously wanted to compete with the likes of Netflix and Amazon Prime and Disney Plus with their own BBC iPlayer uh, streaming channel um, because I know I've noticed there's a lot more sort of American imports being on the streaming service such as Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Battlestar Galactica as well as some other blockbuster movies as well uh, which are not just British made movies um, other Hollywood movies have appeared on BBC iPlayer uh, a lot more recently so obviously they're in a, in a you know 
want to sort of compete in themselves. But the only problem with that is, as far as I'm aware, BBC iPlayer is just solely for the UK audience. I don't think you can have BBC iPlayer um, outside of the UK unless via VPN, which uh, I'm not going to get into that discussion. Should Doctor Who go on Disney Plus? Should it be aired or streamed on Disney Plus? I think Doctor Who should definitely be on a more larger streaming platform such as Netflix, Amazon Prime or even Disney Plus because I feel that having it just on BBC iPlay, you're kind of reducing the exposure for Doctor Who outside of the UK and Europe and the US. You know, I don't think you're sort of capitalising on those international markets as well, you know, fully. Um because really, you know, we all do it when we're on like Netflix or Prime or Disney Plus. The good thing about it is they've just got a massive library and, you know, it does the, you know, the su suggestion to you watch a sci-fi show and then it's going to suggest, oh, why don't you watch this? And I know loads of people have definitely watched modern era of Doctor Who or even the classic era of Doctor Who through streaming services because, you know, they hear it from friends, you know, they never watched it from like the, at the beginning and then it's there at your fingertips, you know, for, oh, actually, no, go on, I'll flick it on and, and give it a go. And, you know, especially I imagine from like American audiences standpoint, you know, from the, I would say, especially from the end of the David Tennant era into the Matt Smith era, I think that's where um, at least I felt that Doctor Who had kind of had a bit of a boom period in the American market, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. And I think that's because it was exposed to the likes of HBO Max and Netflix. So, you know, it sort of like generated a bit more sort of um, outside sort of mainstream fandom because it was on a bigger streaming platform. Do I think Doctor Who and Disney Plus is the perfect match uh, in terms of where it should go for uh, global streaming exposure? I don't know. Um, don't get me wrong, really love Disney Plus. Massive Star Wars fan as well as Doctor Who. Uh, me and my fiance do watch quite a lot of uh, shows on Disney Plus because they are just gobbling everything up at the moment. You know, it's got a huge library. You know, like I said, you've got your Family Guy, The Simpsons, uh, Walking Dead, um, you know, obviously all the all the Disney movies, the Pixar movies, Star Wars, um, you name it, it's all in there. So, and as well as like classic sort of comedy sitcoms like The Golden Girls and Dinosaurs. Um, so I, I'm just a bit worried that Doctor Who could get lost in the shuffle. Um, I do believe, firmly believe that Doctor Who should be on a larger streaming platform uh, because, you know, getting more exposure is always a good thing. Um, but yeah, just to sort of emphasise, it will still be in the hands of the BBC and the show writers. I don't want any of that being changed whatsoever you know so if it is going to go on a larger streaming platform i don't want obviously more people getting involved in the production and the writing side of doctor who because kind of that's what happened with the paul mcgann tv movie too many fingers of in the pie trying to appease them all and as much as it's an entertaining special um it obviously didn't work for those reasons so to sum up should Doctor Who be on Disney Plus? I don't know. Should it be on a bigger global streaming platform? Absolutely. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts to Doctor Who on Disney Plus. Do you agree or disagree with my opinions? Or which streaming platform should Doctor Who be shown on? Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the cloister bell for more notifications and come say hello on my Twitter page at ReviewTimey. Do check out my other videos on the YouTube channel. There are a lot more reviews to come, so please do check them out. But as the good doctor once said, time will tell, it always does.